Hello, welcome to Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition session. In this video, we will show you basic MEP modeling. After having created the structural and architectural models of the Farnsworth house, let's now add some elements of mechanical system. Again, we will create a new file for this new discipline and we will attach a reference of the structural and architectural models created before. Let's select the references in the Common Tools tab and attach both files with default settings. Then let's feed all the views, switch off the background grid in the View Attributes dialog and select the upper terrace level in Floor Selector. To see the interior of the building, I will apply a clip volume. I will first click on Apply Fitted Clip Volume and then click in the first view to apply and then select Apply Clip Volume by Element to adjust the volume with help of AccuDraw. I will start by placing bathroom equipment in the rooms inside the core of the building. In the Mechanical tab, Plumbing System section, I will select Fixture Tool. Here I will select Default Bathtub. Then in Family and Part tab, I will change Family to Sanitary and Part to Bathtub. And I will modify its length and then place it in the top view using Wireframe Display Style. In the second bathroom, I will place the default shower in the corner. I will set the part to Showers. And by right-clicking it and selecting Rotate option, I will rotate it 270 degrees with Active Angle method. Again, by right-clicking, I will move it to the corner. With the same fixture tool, I will place two default basins and change their parameters in the Place Component dialog box and the Part to Basins in Family and Part tab. Then I will place it in both bathrooms using AccuDraw dialog and applying a distance. Time to place two toilets. Again, with the fixture, I will select default toilet, adjust its parameters and place it in the corners of two bathrooms. I will now model plumbing system. A very useful display style will be now modeling mechanical. It will make the mechanical model more visible. I will set it for both isometric and top views. I will select Pipe Tool in the Plumbing System section and will set the family to Plumbing and Part to Sanitary Sewer. I will set the diameter of the default straight pipe to 100 mm and will start drawing it from the toilet trap. I will insert a data point in a top view and then in the front view I will change the plane of the AccuDraw to front with the F button on my keyboard. I will then apply a slope in Slope Options section I will select the degree method and apply a 2 degree slope down direction. The elbow was created automatically by the program. Let's create an outlet for a basin. First, I will use pipe accessory tool and place a P-trap in a model after having set the diameter to 40 millimeters and adjusted other dimensions. To be able to place it at the right level, I will switch off the ACS plane and ACS plane snap locks by clicking the two icons above the view. After placing it, I need to rotate it. Then I will connect the trap with a pipe of diameter of 40 millimeters. I will hide it inside the wall and then rotate it and make it go down to the floor level. I will connect it to the bigger pipe. The connection was created automatically. Let's model a drain outlet for the shower. I will set the diameter of 50 millimeters, snap to the center of the outflow and draw it down and then again connect to the bigger pipe. After having modeled all the pipes for the second bathroom, we can model a main pipe going out of the building. I will place a vertical pipe under the center of the core and then rotate it and continue after adding a slope. With Connect Duct and Pipes tool in Modify tab, I will create a Y connection between the pipes I modeled. We can now add a vent stack. Let's delete the elbow and make the vertical pipe go up to the roof. We will add new connection with Connect Duct and Pipes tool. And we can add a fan on the roof. I will now go to the Mechanical Systems section and select the Fan tool. 
I will place it on the top of the vertical pipe. I will set the clip volume back to make it cut the building and show the interior. Let's add a water heater in the center of the core. I will select it from Equipment in the Plumbing System section. I will set the floor selector to Upper Terrace and I will place it near the wall in the center of it. Time to connect hot and cold water pipes. I will start with a cold water inlet. I will select Pipe Tool, set the family to Plumbing and Part to Domestic Cold Water New and snap it to the water heater. The pipe will go behind the wall and then down to the main cold water supply. And now I will connect all bathroom equipment with cold water system. I will do it by snapping new pipes to existing ones and they will get adjusted. I will model a pipe up to the toilet. I will then rotate its end and have the elbow created automatically. I will then create a connection for the sink. I will snap to the pipe, model a vertical pipe and then a connection to the basin. You can see the connection created automatically again. Then the same for the bathtub. There will be a connection going through the perpendicular wall. We will do the same for the second bathroom. Let's connect to the toilet, the basin and the shower. For the hot water, I will adjust the part in the family and part system and I will connect one end of a pipe to the water heater and I will continue connecting it to the bathroom equipment. And here you can see the model with references switched off so we can see better all the mechanical system. Let's switch on the references again and set the display style back to illustration ignore lighting. In the original project of the Farnsworth house, mechanical installations are covered in a vertical shaft in the center of the building. Let's create the shaft by building a concrete round wall on the ground level. I will go to the architectural tab and select wall. I will set the height to 1170 millimeters and weight to 80 millimeters. I will set the placement method to arc and I will place it under the center of the mechanical room. And now we can see the vertical shaft in our model. We hope you've enjoyed this session. Here you can find some more information about Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. Feel free to subscribe and like our page. Thank you.